G'day everyone, welcome to HS Fishing. Today I'm going to talk about my fishing lure arsenal and rod setup because I've had a few people ask me about my rods and um, what I tend to use and stuff. So um, I'll just run through the basic Murray Cod and slash Yellow Belly gear um, lures that I use. Um, my lures are at my feet, sorry if I look at the ground a fair bit. Um, Alright, I'll start off smallest to biggest. Alright, so first off, I have a couple of size 2 stump jumpers. I have um, a couple colours. I have um, this, um, oh, sorry, um, it's a cold chisel colour. Number two, I've caught a cod recently on this one. Um, another one, a uh, pink, just pink and black. Um, found that one as well. This one here, fruit salad. It's um very nice lure. I've caught two Murray cod on there. I've put some new owner's trebles on there. And um, works a treat, especially out of my kayak. Um, another one, a frog sort of a pattern I found this one as well um, plain cream on the bottom with like um, green and black dots on top um, another one that I really like is it's a storm it's an Arashi 10 feet or yeah Arashi 10 foot which is 3, three meters um, has a very very sharp diving action it actually goes pretty steep gets down very very quickly. really like that lure. Another one, I actually don't know the name of this one, I found it. Um, I was using it this afternoon for some Murray Cod, a little bit of a contrast here on the bottom, um, purple and red. But um, it, this is a very um, very unique sort of a lure, it has a very very nice swimming action and um, can't speak more highly of it. Um, this one here is an RMG Halco, um, 80 mil. I'm not sure if that will focus on there. It's an 80 mil, five meter deep um, diving body, hard body lure. It um, has a very narrow sort of a uh, action on it. Um, you fit it out with some owner trebles, just a little bit more sticky. You only get one hit of the day. You want that one hit to stick into the fish. Alright, moving up now, I have a couple of orgies. I have um, an orgy 4.5 meter um, lure here. It has smaller bibs compared to the orgy 100 mil plow. Um, this green one here. Is, um, I've had this lure for a while. Swims very, very similar to the um, to the to the purple one over here, and um, very very nice lure. I really like that one. Um, this one here is an OG plow. Has a little face on the front with a little bit of um, purple and pink contrast on it. Um, this one will set you back a little bit of money. A little bit expensive, made for getting down 20, 20 foot of water. Really nice lure to have. While we're in the deep section of water, I'll um, go on to um, number one stump jumper. 105 mil lure. Um, inter inter interchangeable bib. Um, it comes with a more pointed sort of a one. Um, makes it dive to 3 metres instead of 9 metres deep. Um, this colour, of course, is my favourite colour fruit salad. Um, very, very beautiful lure. Caught a, caught a nice 54 Sandman Murray cod on this the other day, which you can see in my last couple videos. One of those cod. Um, yeah, so very nice. Also, it has a really nice orange pattern on the bottom. I've got one stripe down the middle. I like that one stripe. Last big hard body. It's a mud eye mohawk. Um, 
Lua, you can see it has a little bit of a fluff on the on its back up here. I actually won this lure um, on Gone Fishing Day. Um, it has a darker sort of a front or top with a very bright, vibrant purple on the bottom. Um, apparently, cod can see purple, so I don't know. But um, yeah. All right. Onto spinner baits. I have a few spinner baits here. Um, starting off big, um, two Bassman 4x4s in the curly tail. I like the curly tail. Um, this pink one here is a lot bigger curl tail to this black one. Um, different coloured blades, gold on the black and silver blades on the pink. Very nice big bulky lure for those big, big fish. Um, a buzz bait. These buzz baits are beautiful. They um, make a really cool plopping sound over the uh, over the water when that spins. If you think of this, the water's going to sit um, in line with this wire, this wire here, and it's just going to look like a li little school of bait fish or something that's jumping out of the water or something similar to that. Um, I have a um, a mumbler, a bassman mumbler. Um, has that little thing on it. Um, very nice paddle tail on the back. Um, main hook and stinger hook in purple, purple and black. Really like that colour. Um, I'll just go through the main ones. Um, this is a big spinnerbait that I found. It's a um, a gangster spinnerbait. I um, fitted it out with a squidgy wriggler on the back. Um, orange has a very, very big thumping sort of an action in the water um, when you're fishing. Um, purple, purple spinnerbait with just a willow leaf blade and another smaller Colorado blade. No trailers as you can see. Um, very handy for yellow belly and Murray Cod as well. Um, this spinnerbait here is similar to the one I just showed you except it has pink or purple black and white with a willow, willow leaf blade with a smaller Colorado trail on it beautiful for, um, for yellows and Murray cod all right I've got to go through these quick so I have normal purple um, just two Colorado blades um, spinner bait um, here I have couple of Bassman DTs, one here and one on the end of my rod. I've actually caught one Murray Cod and one Yellow Belly on this exact lure. Very nice lure to have. As you can see, DT meaning double trouble, meaning the two blades. And another one, similar to that one, is a um, Ozpin um, twin blade as well, no trailer on the back. Two Murray Cod on that one, very nice. And a follow as well. Didn't unfortunately hook up. Um, surface Lewis. Go through that quickly. I'll just do two sort of my favourites. This one here, the bigger size, is a um, Cod Cracker. Has a very big bib on the front. And um, Real big presentation, um, has a little bit of contrast of red up here, and they call it the Cod Cracker, call it one Cod Cracker, is it because, listen to this, ready? So when that moves side to side, when it's swimming like that, and cracking, it makes a very, very um, erratic sound going through the water, and um, sounds really, really nice to the fish, I suppose. Um, this is a tailor made, um, pretty much the same as Cod Cracker, just oops, in the, in the smaller version. Um, in black, so it silhouettes across the water, two piece as well, so it cracks as well. Um, smaller hooks, um, better for those smaller fish, and um, better hookups, I suppose, for smaller, smaller fish. Alright, another one. A swim bait, um, 
is a um, 12.5 centimeter um, Savage Gear uh, 3D trout. As you can see, it has a main hook here and a uh, a treble on the bottom, connecting connected to a split ring, which is connected to the main hook, and comes out like that when the fish grabs it. And um, just poke it in between. There's two fins here. Just poke it in between there, and it's ready to rock and roll. Um, this is a 12.5 centimeter, the smallest size. Kordamari cod on this in my uh, first video, my first Murray cod video on YouTube. Um, has a rattle in you can't hear it because I fell out somewhere somewhere along the traps um, Anyway, that used to have a rattle in the tail very very unique All right, I'll just put that away um, I'll do my um, my setup now over here um, It is a Frank's Mano Shimano um, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a bait cast, bait cast setup with a Shimano Corrado reel. Um, if you want to know, it's a 200 PG. Um, fitted with 30 pound um, braid with a 20 pound monofilament um, leader on, on the front. And um, it's very beautiful rod it's caught me a lot of lot of fish um, that's a DT Bassman DT with a uh, that's connected on um, twin blade his rods beautiful it's a um, it's a 6 2 one piece um, cranks nano five to eight kilos so it's a very sort of like a it's a touchy sort of a rod, but it's also very, very nice. Alright, so that's my fishing arsenal for 2017. Um, end of 2017. And hope you can get onto some big Murray cod during uh, the Christmas period. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you.